Hello dear friends, in this episode we will show you how to easily change the coolant temperature sensor of the DSG gearbox of a Passat B7 without needing any special tools right in front of your house. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, comment or even subscribe to support our channel. The tools needed for this DIY project are a flathead screwdriver, some color clamp pliers or long nose pliers, if you don't want to remove the car battery and the battery housing, some long reach color clamp pliers are needed. A 5mm Allen key or a 5mm hex bit, a nylon hose clamp tool if you have one or a French wrench, a squirt bottle with water and a paper towel. Let's get started. Remove the engine cover by pulling it upward. The sensor is located below in that area, so you'll need to remove the air filter housing. We start by removing this cover secured with free clips as indicated in the video. Use a screwdriver to remove this plastic element. Disconnect that connector by pressing on the side clip. Remove this hose. Now you'll need to remove this hose clamp. You can do it with special color clamp pliers or with regular ones. However, be careful to release the clamp slowly so it doesn't break the plastic tubing. Next is that bolt which you can remove with the 5mm bit or a 5mm allen key. All you need to do now is to firmly pull upward on the air filter housing. This is how the air filter housing looks like. You now have access to the coolant temperature sensor of the automatic gearbox, which we'll point out immediately. It's this one right here. Here's the new sensor, identical to the original one. Here's a close-up. This is the coolant flow direction. To release the hose clamps without removing the car battery housing, you will need these long reach color clamp pliers. If you don't have any, you just need to remove the car battery and its housing to have much more space for regular pliers. First, release the clamp at the end of the hose. Try to loosen the end of the hose a bit so you can remove it. To avoid losing too much coolant, you'll need to find a way to seal the hose on which the sensor is mounted. For this, there are special hose clamps, but we'll use something more accessible like an adjustable French wrench. Carefully and patiently pull the hose out.
loosen the two clamps at the end of the sensor. You can now see the arrow indicating the direction on the old sensor. Replace the old sensor with the new one, keeping in mind the direction indicated by the arrow. Now all operations in reverse. Use water and paper towels to clean up any spilled coolant. After putting everything back in place, take a short drive with the car, then top up the coolant respecting the dilution ratio indicated by the manufacturer. And that was it, thank you for watching and if the video was helpful, please give it a like, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. And remember, the DIY workshop helps you save money.